At this hour, a number of Colby College students have been moved to a local hotel as a precaution against the coronavirus after Colby College reportedly rented out a number of rooms there. Dean Carlene burrell McCray sent out an email to students on Saturday. Good evening, everybody. I'm Lee Nelson. A lot of this is unknown right now, but Cindy Williams is sniffing out a little bit more for us tonight in Waterville. She's live with more on this developing story. Hi, Cindy. What can you tell us? Hi there, Lee. We are standing outside the Best Western here in Waterville, where, as we understand it from several sources now, the third floor of this hotel is where those students are staying. They are being isolated. Reportedly, we are told they have been told not to open their doors. Now, that met, that notice uh, that you mentioned from the dean of Colby College, Burrell McCray, said that any member of the community who was in China in January is now required to stay in isolation until the 14-day incubation period has concluded. Now, they say that they are acting on a directive issued by the DHHS to isolate any member of the community who recently traveled from mainland China. So we want to say at this point that break just ended. A lot of students who are from China went to China, went home, and they are now back. So classes just began here yesterday. Now, Colby College issued a statement tonight saying that they are not aware of any cases of the coronavirus in the Colby community or anywhere in Maine, for that matter, and that none of the individuals in isolation have any symptoms of the virus. They are mon being monitored by the CDC. Now, we spoke with the CDC as well. They confirmed that they have assessed these uh, people who are in isolation, and the CDC did not... Uh, uh, excuse me, that they assess the situation and they have determined that the students pose no added health risk at this point. But the CDC was very clear to say they didn't know about any of this until Colby College moved the students to the hotel. Colby did that and then contacted the CDC and have since talked with epidemiologists. Now, we spoke with Robert Long at the CDC. He says preparedness is our day job. We have been in daily consultation with federal health officials and health uh, in other states to stay on top of this because of the developing global situation of the coronavirus. But I have to emphasize there are no cases in Maine and no suspected cases in Maine. So back to you, Lee. All right.